Have you ever wondered why China keeps bullying the Philippines? Let's take a journey through history to understand the tumultuous events unfolding in the South China Sea. We'll go back in time to the closing years of the 20th century, a time when the Philippines, to counter Chinese expansion, deliberately beached a warship, the BRP Sierra Madre. Fast forward to today, and China is stubbornly pushing for its removal, asserting rights over nearly the entire South China Sea. The question arises, why does this seemingly insignificant outpost carry such strategic importance? The answer lies in the heart of the matter. The South China Sea isn't merely about land and water, it's a scene for global power plays, a battlefield for an emerging superpower displaying its strength. China's expansionist strategies stem from a historical desire for territorial dominance, and the Philippines, despite its relatively smaller size, is holding its ground. This show of bravery against the eastern giant continues as the Philippines keeps supplying the BRP Sierra Madre, turning a routine act into a symbol of defiance. According to Colonel Medel Aguilar from the Philippine Armed Forces, China's efforts to disrupt these operations will not discourage them. He asserts, the Philippines is committed to respecting international law and advocating peaceful resolution of disputes. The South China Sea, laden with geopolitical relevance and strategic worth, global interest. The U.S., a long-standing ally of the Philippines, has denounced China's actions, mirroring the sentiment of the global community. China's aggressive actions are greeted with worldwide condemnation, painting it as a global bully. However, the Philippines isn't just voicing its protest, it's arming itself. It's working on its maritime capabilities, maintaining transparency to gain international backing, and resolutely standing up for its rights against a powerful adversary. It seems like a tale of the strong trying to dominate the weak, doesn't it? But remember, even the smallest nations can change the course of history. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this fascinating story in our next segment. Now you might be wondering why would a warship be grounded on purpose? Well, it's all about location. This warship is stationed in an area of the South China Sea that's been a hotbed of territorial disputes. It's a physical, immovable assertion of the Philippines' rights in the face of China's claims. China, insistent on its claim to almost the entire South China Sea, demands the removal of the BRP Sierra Madre. It's a thorn in their side, a symbol of the Philippines' refusal to back down. But the Philippines, steadfast and determined, continues to maintain this outpost despite the pressure. The BRP Sierra Madre may be a grounded warship, but it's far from powerless. It's a symbol, a statement, a beacon. It represents the Philippines' resolve to stand up to a bully. It's a testament to their commitment to uphold international law and promote peaceful resolution of maritime disputes. And it's not just a symbol for the Philippines, but for the international community as well. It's a reminder that one nation's bullying tactics can't erase another's rights. It's a demonstration of the power of resistance, of standing firm, even when the odds seem stacked against you. So, the next time you hear about the BRP Sierra Madre, remember what it stands for. It's more than just a grounded warship. It's a symbol of resistance, of defiance, and of the courage to stand up against a bully. The grounded warship stands as a beacon of defiance against the bully's demands. Before we continue, subscribe for more intriguing content. Now, let's dive back into the story. As China continues to bully, the world watches and condemns, but is that enough? China's aggressive actions in the South China Sea have not gone unnoticed by the international community. Countries around the globe are watching with a critical eye, expressing their disapproval and condemnation of China's behavior. The question remains though, are these condemnations enough to curb China's bullying? The United States, a long-standing ally of the Philippines, has been particularly vocal in its criticism of China. It has publicly denounced China's attempts to obstruct Philippine resupply missions to the grounded warship, the BRP Sierra Madre. This warship, deliberately grounded since 1999, stands as a symbol of resistance against Chinese expansion. And yet, despite the criticism, China continues to demand its removal. This condemnation from the United States is significant. It not only underscores the severity of China's actions, 
but also serves as a rallying call for other nations to stand up against such bullying tactics. However, it is important to remember that while words carry weight, they are not always enough to bring about change. The situation in the South China Sea is complex and multifaceted. It goes beyond just China and the Philippines, extending to the broader international community. It's a matter of upholding international law, promoting peaceful resolution of maritime disputes, and maintaining the freedom of navigation in international waters. Yet despite the international disapproval and condemnation, China continues its aggressive actions. This raises a crucial question. What more can be done? How can the international community go beyond mere words to ensure that China respects the rights of other nations, especially those of the Philippines? This situation is a test of the international community's resolve. It's a test of whether we, as a global society, can stand up against bullying and ensure that every nation, no matter how big or small, is treated with respect and fairness. While condemnation is strong, the situation begs for more than just words. Standing up to a bully isn't easy, but the Philippines is doing so by upholding international law. This small archipelago nation in Southeast Asia is making a grand stand, not with ostentatious displays of might, but with a commitment to peace and law. The Philippines is no stranger to maritime disputes, but its focus has always been on peaceful resolution. It's not about who has the biggest guns, but about what's fair and just. The country believes in the power of dialogue and diplomacy, and it's not afraid to sit down at the negotiation table to discuss its rights and interests. This commitment to peace doesn't mean that the Philippines is complacent, though. Far from it. The country is working tirelessly to enhance its maritime capabilities. It's not about starting a fight, but about being prepared to protect its people and sovereignty. It's about sending a clear message. The Philippines won't be pushed around. Transparency is another cornerstone of the Philippines' stand. The country is not playing a game of shadows and deceit. Instead, it's choosing to shine a light on the situation, sharing its experiences and concerns with the world. And it's working. The international community is taking notice, condemning the bully's actions and expressing support for the Philippines. The Philippines' approach is a lesson in resilience and dignity. It's showing that you don't have to match a bully blow for blow. You can stand tall and strong, armed with nothing but your principles and the truth. The Philippines, it seems, is determined to not bow down to the bully. We've seen the story of a bully and a defiant underdog. But this story is far from over. It's a tale that continues to unfold. A narrative that's as dynamic and unpredictable as the waves of the South China Sea. It's a story that needs to be told. And you, yes, you can be a part of it. By subscribing to our channel, you're not just clicking a button. You're joining a community, a collective of curious minds eager to delve deeper into the complexities of global issues and geopolitical matters. You're saying yes to staying informed, to understanding the world a little bit better, and to challenging what you thought you knew. So go on, hit that subscribe button. Join us as we navigate the tumultuous seas of international relations, as we explore the stories that shape our world. Let's uncover the truth together. Let's keep asking the hard questions. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more amazing content. Who knows what twists and turns this narrative might take next? Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.